this episode of One Drink Three Bars. We've been invited to another cocktail challenge. This one is called the Build Your Own Manhattan Challenge. And if you want to participate, all you need to do is build a Manhattan that contains American whiskey, vermouth, and bitters, and put the hashtag BYOManhattan2022 on it. This challenge is being issued by the Manhattan Project, the Whiskey Nerd, and your drinking buddy. I'll put links to all three of their channels in the description below. Lots of cocktail channels are participating and lots of whiskey channels are participating. And some people use rye in their Manhattan and some people use bourbon. It depends on if you like it sweeter or spicier. I like a little of both and I couldn't decide. So I'm using this blend from High West Whiskey. This actually has bourbon, rye, and scotch in it. And in case you're unfamiliar with High West, they are a distillery that started in 2007 in Park City, Utah. And when they first started out, everything they did was they were all blends sourced from other places. This is a bottle from 2017. As you can tell, we really like it. We usually don't mix it, but I thought it would be perfect for this. And there's actually a new batch of this out now. So if you've tried that, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And if you've tried them both, let me know how they compared. All right. Let's make the drink. I'm going to grab a small martini glass out of the freezer. Now you may wonder why I'm using such a tiny glass. It's because we're going to do a smoke bubble on the top. And if I use this regular size glass, the standard three ounces would only come to about here and the bubble doesn't work very well on that. So I bought these little martini glasses on Amazon, especially for this. And I think that this will work perfectly for it. I will start out with the two ounces of my High West Campfire. We'll do one ounce of the Dolan Sweet Vermouth, then a couple dashes of cherry bitters, and a couple of dashes of orange bitters. The general rule is that cocktails that are mostly booze are stirred instead of shaken, so I'm just putting some ice in the mixing glass. And we'll stir this until we start to see a nice frost on the glass. All right, I think that's good. We'll see how it does in filling up this little glass. Got a little extra, oh darn. Next, I'm gonna drop in a Luxardo cherry. Don't fret if some of that syrup gets in. It's a nice addition to the drink. Before I use the smoker to make the bubble, I'm gonna give this a taste to kind of see how smoky it tastes without, because this stuff has some peated scotch in it, so it's pretty smoky already. Mm. That's good, and it definitely does have a campfire taste to it. Well, let's see what if we can give it some more. This is the smoking gun that you can use for food or drinks. Basically what you do is you just load up this little compartment at the top with wood chips. Today I'm using cherry wood. You don't need to fill it all the way to the top. That should be enough. And the next step is lighting the wood chips, turning it on because it makes them easier to light. Now that they're ignited, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to dip this bubble attachment into the bubble mixture, which I've poured a little bit of into here. Once that's on there, I will turn it back on and it starts to form a bubble full of smoke. And I'm going to just drop that right onto my cocktail. And there we have it. That is our smoke bubble campfire Manhattan. Okay, I guess now we cut and we could take some pictures. It's quickly become obvious to us that the smaller bubbles are a lot more stable. So that wasn't the most resilient bubble I ever made. You just saw it pop. But I think I would like to now compare the taste of this one with my, um, my overflow that didn't have the smoke effect. And by the way, if you want to do the smoke effect without the bubble, it also came with this and you could pull this attachment off and just attach the tube to here and fill your glass with smoke.
I think this one may taste a little smokier. It could be a placebo effect and it could also just be that the the drink is closer to my nose and I'm smelling it more. But I'm not sure how much this actually does. So let me know in the comments below if you have experience with one of these smoking guns and what you think of it. Please let me know if you've tried the newer version of this campfire whiskey. I would love to get my hands on a bottle and do a comparison. And again, thanks to the Manhattan Project, the Whiskey Nerd, and your drinking buddy for putting on this challenge. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button below and hit that bell. And I'll see you next time. Cheers! Just like...